All right, let's get this show on the road, okay? Um, everybody, thanks for joining us today. Uh, Julia, again, thanks for your time. Uh, I know you've been swamped and jet lagged trying to deal with post Tokyo and all that. Uh, exciting stuff. So we wanted to definitely get uh, media availability done. Um, what we'll do, uh, typical with everybody, uh, if you need recording privileges, let me know. Uh, otherwise, we'll open up for questions. If you could use the raise hand function uh, down in the participants button area, uh, we'll go in the order that I see them on screen. Uh, and then uh, if you can't get that to work, then feel free to just wave your hand at me on camera. We'll figure it out somehow. Okay. Uh, we'll start off. Uh, I think I saw Bob first. Uh, Bob, we'll start with you. Hey, Julia. Welcome back. Congratulations. Um, can you just take us through the mindset going into the penalty kick? And then it looked like when your team was running towards you, you kind of had your hands on your head. Like, I can't believe what just happened. Can you just kind of yeah. take us through all the emotion of it? Yeah. Um, I just remember when I took the kick, like I actually kind of got like a little bit of a hand on it and then it just like, kind of went up. So I remember like first just seeing like her touch, her touch the ball. And I was like, Oh my gosh. Like I just thought that in my head and then I just saw it like go in. So then I turned around and then like, I knew that was like the final kick to like win it. But like, it just took me a second. Cause I was like, Oh my God, we won. And then like, I kind of like, was like, Oh my gosh, this is like, we just won gold. Like it just was just crazy. Like it was like the final like thing. And like, it was just like a side of like relief, like all the hard work we like put in. It just like, like we, we won. And then I turned around and I was like, is this real life? Like, I just remember it was just like the craziest moment ever. Did, did you feel like there was almost no pressure on you? I mean, not, not no pressure, but because you knew that if you missed, you're still, y'all were still alive as opposed to needing it to you know to stay alive yeah so I remember like kind of like before the kicks um there was just like the one the girl before she's an amazing player it's like her name's Seger she's on Sweden she's the captain and I just remember like there was like some misses of course like that happened like between both teams so I just felt like I think I'm not really sure if that made me like less nervous but I just remember going up and I was like okay there's no pressure just shoot it hard and like there's no pressure like don't worry about it and I just thought that in my mind like I just just tried not thinking about like it's the Olympic gold medal match like I just tried thinking like I was just at practice shooting the ball like because then if I thought about it I would be nervous so yeah all right let's go to uh, Chris next hey Julia did you know you were going left the entire time did I know? Sorry, say that again. That you were going left the entire time, or did you decide spur of the moment that's where you're going to go? Um, well, <laughs> to think about, like, I always, okay, I, when I went up, I honestly, like, knew I was going to go that way, but, like, I had a split second, like, she kind of, like, moved a little bit this way, and, like, I, I don't know if I should be saying where I usually like to go, but, um, <laughs> like, I usually go a certain way. But I just kind of, like, knew I was going there because I saw her feet move a little bit, so I just kind of, like, last minute to put it there because I saw her shift a bit so what's the reception been like for you in Canada here in the states in college soccer with your teammates what what has it been like and has it helped set in that you scored the gold medal winning goal for your country at the Olympics um I feel like when I was at the Olympics like it was pretty cool like afterwards we we're in the village um with all the other athletes and like, that was pretty cool. Cause they, they all like, rec they all knew we won and they're all like very supportive. And it was cool to see like other countries, like different sports is really cool. But I think it really set in for me when I landed in like Canada, because there's people waiting at the airport, like people like just all there, like cameras and everything. It was a really cool experience. So I feel like it really hit me then. And like, even just being in Canada, like, I think people are like, like, um, just kind of like noticing, like, just, I think a lot of people watched here in Canada. So they kind of like, like at some places are recognizing like, oh my God, like congrats and stuff like that, which has been like really cool. And like, it's like, I'm like oh, me, like what? Cool. Like, it's just, it's a crazy like thing, but yeah, it's been cool. Awesome. Congratulations. Thank you. All right, let's go to Dennis next. I think you just hit it, but how else, if any way, has your life changed? Because now you are Olympic gold medalist. That's part of your name now. How, how has life changed? um well for me I just like I don't know like it's hit me but like I just guess I just don't think about it that way yet but um I don't know I just feel like it's just a really cool experience and like to, I don't know like it just hasn't really like it just feels like we won like a 
you know, it hasn't really like, I'm an Olympic gold medalist. So it's like quite an honor. And like, it's just, I feel like it's just an honor. And like, I think the biggest thing for me out of this is just inspire younger generations to come and just like that they can like younger, like just the youth, like, like just, I know like going to camps and like I used to coach some players and stuff like here in Canada. I just hope they're watching that and like it just inspires them to keep going and to keep dreaming big. And I think that's the biggest thing that I hope came out of this for sure. So I hope just like to inspire younger generations. Thanks. All right, Jeff, you're up next. Julia, I know that you uh, chatted with your team shortly after, I think it was like 30 or 45 minutes after you made the kick and won gold. Why was it important to get on FaceTime with them so quickly? And, and what did y'all, what was that conversation like? With my family, you said? With you, with the team, with UT. Oh, with UT, sorry, yes. Mm -hmm. um, uh, it was it was amazing. Like, I just saw that, like, they, they posted, like, right after. Like, I wasn't really on my phone because it was, like, blowing up right after that game but I remember seeing this one video from my friend like one of my roommates and they were all like so I don't know if you've seen the video but they were all like just so excited and all of that and I just like immediately wanted to call them because it was just like they've been so supportive of me through the whole thing and like texting me before my games and everything and they're just such a supportive team and so I wanted to call them and just check in on them and say like hey thank you so much for everything and like yeah they're just so supportive and I appreciate them so much. All right, Nick, you're up next. Hey, Julia, congratulations. Um, yeah, just kind of, you touched on it a little bit earlier, but, you know, I wanted to ask, you know, you kind of got to live out that dream moment, you know, that you're in that spot, it's up to you, down to you, and you get to deliver the stick to win the gold medal. I mean, how surreal was that moment? And also kind of leading into the game, you know, what was the process like for you to make the team? And what was it like being there in Tokyo and actually experiencing this? <laughs> Um, yeah, it was, it was quite the, thrill. like, it was honestly, like, I'm not even trying to be sad, like, over dramatic, but it was like the best feeling in the whole world for sure that I've ever experienced. Um, I think like the process going into Tokyo, like for me was all, I just had to like go, I had like some up, like ups and downs for sure. Like leading into it. Like I was at one tournament with She Believes Cup, um, with my team and I didn't play a minute. And from like that moment, like something in me just switched because I knew what I had to do with my coach on the national team to like really make this team. And so I made sure like with Texas soccer, I was there. I like just, I didn't even come home back to Canada. Like I just wanted to focus there and like, I just to get stronger and like fitter and all of that. And I knew what I had to do. So I just felt like just like hard work kind of just paid off, which was like a nice feeling to like know that happened. And um, yeah, so it was just like meant the world to me to know that like we won and like we all worked so hard as a team and it was just a surreal feeling. And also, I mean, is, is everybody asking to see the gold medal, to touch the gold medal, to wear the gold medal? I mean, I'm sure you're getting a lot of requests, right? Yeah, I just, like, people will ask, um, like, at the airport. But, like, I, like, let them – I let people wear it. Like, I won't really know them. But it's a cool feeling just, like, be able to just, like, put it on. I'll just put it on them. They're like, wait, what? Like, they they, they just don't want it on them. They're like, no, 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 like, please don't put it on. And I'm like, no, 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 like, it, you can wear it. And, like, the first thing they say is, oh, my gosh, it's so heavy. It's a really heavy metal. And, um, but, yeah, like, my whole family, like – has already taken like millions of pictures with it for sure. All right, let's go with Zach next. Hey, Julia. Um, obviously, Christine Sinclair is a pretty uh, <laughs> legendary Canadian soccer player. What have you learned from her? And what does it mean, not only for Canada to win the gold medal, for but for someone like her that has had so much experience and so much, <laughs> given so much to the country? Yeah, I mean, like, Christine Sinclair, like, has paved the way for so many females around the world. There's so many athletes in general. She's just so inspirational. And I've been looking up to her ever since I, I started playing soccer. Like, I'd go to, like, the games here in Vancouver and, like, would watch her all the time. So it was, like, a really crazy moment. Like, I don't know if you remember, but there's one point after the game, she, like, hugged me afterwards. I was on, it was on TV and, and my, like, people have been asking me about that. And, like, it's, like, just a crazy feeling just to know that, like, I had the honor to like be with her when she won, like the, when we got that gold medal. And it was like, just crazy. Just knowing like I've looked up to her and she's such an amazing captain and teammate, like literally the best person you'll ever meet. She's so awesome. And just to be there and win it like with them in that moment. And just like, know that we made history is just so crazy to me. And like, still to this day, I'm like getting shivers with it. Like, I'm like, that's so crazy, but yeah, it was an amazing feeling. All right, uh, Theo, you're up next. Hi, Julia. Um, thinking back to both the US game and, and the final, you, you came into these games obviously off the bench and it felt like 
you know, you and Bev, like these moments where you had to be aggressive, you had to make these decisions and bring on like a player like you that can do a little bit of everything, especially in the final coming on for Quinn, who was having such a fantastic tournament. How have you grown to play with no fear and kind of a lot of the young players around you as well for Canada? It feels like you just come in and, and you're so ready. What's been the kind of the secret ingredient to that? Um, I think for me, like this might sound like a little weird, but I just like try not to think about it. You know, like I just go in there and I'm just like, I need to just like, well, for me, like I have like pregame things I like to do, like to get my mind right, like on my own, like I just do some things, but like when I'm sitting on the bench, like I just like kind of look in my position, like what, what I'm going to, I mean, I look before the game, like kind of prior, but like what's happening in that game, like right at the moment, I just kind of look at that. And then like, I just, but I try not to think about it too much. Like I'm like, okay, I need to go in there and play my game and the rest will take care of itself. I just gotta just be focused and, and all that. But if I think about it too much, like I need to do this, this and that, like very robotic, then like, then I get nervous. If I just, just go back to the basics and just know, like, just go on there, like do your thing, like all that, then I'll be all good. Do you have any comments about NWSL possibly going to Vancouver? Um, yeah, I just think it would be an amazing thing. Like I'd love personally to play there, like in Canada. And like, I think like after winning this gold medal, like with Canada, I feel like it's so even, more, it was important before, but I feel like it's even more important now. Like we need to like start making some teams here in Canada and like and so that we can like even like younger generations here can have even more something to look up to when they're growing up and playing soccer and like maybe they want to play on those teams as well. I just think it's so important that we have a team in Canada for sure. Thank you. All right, uh, back to Chris, please. Hey, Julia, uh, three quick ones for you. One, how many times, if any, have you watched your kick and just that match in general? um I okay I haven't like right after the game I didn't really watch it but like the recent days I've been in Vancouver I've kind of like gone back on like like on Twitter and like have been watching it because it's been so busy like from when I came back so I haven't really been paying attention like social media like looking at stuff like that but I've been like I kind of watched it a few times and like I was just studying it I was like oof like, like I was like I kind of look a little nervous a little bit but yeah I, a couple of times I watched it what do you think life will be like when you're back on campus playing for Texas and, and going through big 12? Will, will it be like, I was in the Olympics, I won a gold medal and now you're playing college soccer. What do you think that'll be like for you? Um, for me, like, I just don't think of it that way. Like I'm, I won a gold medal. Like I'm in, like kind of going back to college, but like, I just think for me now it's like, I need to switch my mindset. to like, I want to win with my college team now and, and go as like, far as we can. And we want to win an NCAA championship in the big 12. So it's like, I think I'm just like changing my mind now to that. And like, right now I'm kind of celebrating. I'm like, yay, we won and stuff. But as soon as I hit, like go to Texas, I'm like focused on something else now. So, yeah. Do, do you think there will be pressure when, when you're going against teams and they go, Oh, this girl won a gold medal. Like you, there's a target on your back. Um, uh, I mean, I don't think so, but I mean, I, I don't know. I just, I won't feel the pressure myself. Cause I know my teammates and I like are all like really close there and all of that. So I don't, I'm not really worried about that, but who knows? I'm not really sure. And the last one, do you have the gold medal with you? Can we see it? Oh, it's like, it's down. I can text my mom to bring it up. Let me do that. Okay. I will do that. Thank you. You're welcome. Sorry. All right. No, uh, no hands raised. Anybody else have a question? Oh, Bob, go ahead, Bob. Yeah, I just kind of want to know how difficult the process was of splitting, I guess, splitting time between Canadian team and UT and how difficult this process has been for you just as an athlete trying to work through all the things in college, plus adding this on top of it. Um, yeah, I feel like it's been, it's been honestly a really fun ride for me. Like I enjoy every single minute of, minute of it. Like I, oh, sorry. She's bringing it right now. Thanks mom. Okay. I have it, but I'll ask this first. Um, but it's been like quite like the journey for me. I, I honestly really enjoy doing both. And like, I always love representing my country and I love representing Texas. So it's been cool, but it's honestly it can be very hard at times for sure. Like just with school wise and like, like just like the whole academic side of things and just going back and forth um, with that. But I honestly have had no problem with it. Like I enjoy doing it so much. I love playing soccer. It's just like a passion of mine for sure. And so I, I love every minute of it. All right, uh, back to Theo. 
Um, Julia, what's your ambitions kind of moving forward? Like, I know it seems like a long way away, but like maybe going to the end of Brazil or Europe or obviously Canada going to start trying to qualify for the, for the World Cup. Is it still one day at a time or do you think about that big picture? Um, yeah, so for sure I want to go uh, play professionally. I'm not exactly sure where my like where I'm going to take it. I have no idea where, but um, I mean like Europe would be really fun, but also like and the end of your cell also sounds cool. Like I, I'm just not 100% sure yet. It's day by day kind of. Did being around so many pros, obviously again, young players like Jess as well have kind of made that jump from college to Europe. Did that, does any of that affect you or you're kind of on your own journey? um no I think I think everyone just has their own journey of course but um yeah I'm not really like they're all amazing and like they all have their like pathways and stuff but I'm just like oh I'm so sorry but I'm just not 100% sure like what way I'll go I think it's it's definitely I think for me like seeing that inspires me I'm like oh wow like she did she went from like a great college to a great uh, professional team like I think that's really inspiring to me like really make, it motivates me to do the same I'm so sorry Um, and kind of looking at the end of yourself in, in general, maybe as a league, what, what would you like to see change in it? If, if anything, could it be more teams or the type of football, the style of football? Or, or, you know, there's been a lot of chat about better wages in the women's game. Do you have anything that you're kind of like looking to bring as, a, as an ambassador as, as you maybe turn pro? Um, I would probably say just like, um, well, like the money wise, like, of course, I feel like that can always be room for improvement, um, just like be, in women in sport can have more money and stuff. But I, my academic advisor from Texas keeps sexing me. I'm so sorry. Um, but I would just probably say, um, I don't know. Well, I think the money, okay, I just, the money thing is a big thing for like just women and sport. But, okay, I'm so sorry. What was the, the last part of your question? Well, yeah, just what would be the next, the thing you want to be an ambassador for changing the league? Oh, yeah, for either, sure. either yeah. international or NWSL, okay. yeah. Yeah, no, yeah, I would definitely say that. Um, I think the style of play too, but in NWSL is good. I think, honestly, in Europe and NWSL, like, I, I'd have a hard time to choose because both have its positives and it's, it's kind of, it's very different, to be honest, but I think both have, like, positive things that are in each um, things, but I would definitely say if I could, like, speak on anything it would definitely be like the just the payment or in women's work and uh last one is it is it going to be weird i'm missing some of your friends back in austin i know Haley is going off to europe uh he's gonna be playing football which is really cool to see um is it going to be kind of like interesting having new faces or you're, you're excited about obviously a very very good recruiting class from the young kids um yeah i'm uh it's it's really exciting i think it's a great honor like for like for example like Haley going she's one of my best friends there and i think it's really cool but i'm definitely gonna like miss them and all that like i've been so close to them for the last four years like we're a really close team so i'm gonna definitely miss them but i will still like keep in touch with everyone and so yeah but it'll definitely be hard to like leave them congratulations again and yeah and good luck on the, on the thank you so much thank you all right uh any other questions for julia I could show this now. Yeah. Okay. Please. Yep. <laughs> okay. So this is the one side of it. It's like, I don't know if it's, I don't know if you can kind of see it, but that's it. And then this is the other side. This side is kind of cooler, but yeah. <laughs> and can we get you just like smiling and posing with it, please? Yes. We'll just take a screen grab and use that for the website. You can see it, but is that good? I don't know if you yeah. can see it. Okay, cool. That's, that's perfect. Thank you so much. All right, uh, if we don't have any more questions, uh, Julia, hang on uh, once everybody leaves, just so you and I can chat. Okay. Uh, and then everybody, as far as uh, tomorrow night's exhibition match, uh, if uh, anybody wants to come out and cover, just let me know. Uh, it's free for fans. Uh, we're not going to do credentials for tomorrow night. I'll reach out next week, or I'm sorry, the two weeks about credentials to the first official home game. Uh, but if you guys want to come out and cover or, or come shoot video, uh, COVID protocols are a little more relaxed now. So just reach out to me tonight or tomorrow. Uh, let me know who's going to be there, uh, if anybody, and then uh, we'll go from there, okay? But thanks, everybody, everybody for uh, participating today. It was really great having everybody on here.